It is cold, and I just woke up. So, just doing some, excuse me, some emails for uh, online stuff, which has been very busy. And then YouTube stuff has been going well, so thank you. What is this? Ah. Hey, lady. What are you doing? What are you doing? You just wake up. Oh, you're eight. What are you doing? What are you thinking? This is going to show you how to make protein coffee. protein coffee. Okay, this is my special protein coffee. An avionline.com shaker. Or any other shaker. I just put a little bit of water. Like, I don't know if you can see it. It's like to here. That much water. And today we're using this true team. What is it, babe? Mocha caramel. Jesse likes it. It's pretty good for coffee. Uh, I like it, but you're the only one that uses it. <laughs> it's a blend. So a scoop of that, just in the tiny about amount of water. Basically this makes your cream for your coffee. And then just pour it. Cooking with Candace. <laughs> so hot coffee. You need a spoon like right away. I think I'm only half on the screen. I'll shrink. Oops. And then you put it in and stir it. Do you see the form and the stir motion? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if you can see it. I can't see the frothiness of it. Just Look at that. So. Smash my hash browns and eggs, and Candace is just eating eggs. Still working on my espresso, but yeah. in this hot sauce. Trader Joe's Green Dragon hot sauce. It's so good. And it's pretty bomb. But uh, I guess this meal reminded me back in high school when I was a sophomore. I was telling Candace this, that every night after school and lifting, I'd come home and make like a plate of hash browns with like six whole eggs and that was my meal every night and she said, well, it's good though because that's protein and carbs. And I was like, yeah, no, I think about it, that was good, but back when I was actually doing it, I had no clue. I just liked how it tasted, I guess. <laughs> I think you should tell them about the sprinkler project. Well, I don't know if the sprinkler project is going to happen today. But we have to do it soon. Yeah. So I got to blow up my sprinkler lines. I didn't know this. When you own a home and you have sprinklers and it freezes in the winter, you have to do these things. Yeah. If you don't do it, as you know, Water expands when it's frozen, so if your water is still in your sprinkler lines, it's gonna expand, crack your lines, and then you're not gonna have sprinklers. So, another fun fact for anyone that, that doesn't know that. Potatoes. Miley's just now getting back to normal because we left her, obviously, for the meat, and she was in the boarding place. <clears> and she's just not been the same. I think she was mad at us and just feeling like we were gonna leave her again. I think she was sick. She's back to normal now. Yummy. She was all her normal chip herself this morning. I'm gonna go through pre-workout and some supplementation. I feel like I've gone through this before, but I need that one too. But I keep getting questions on it, so hopefully this answers all the questions. So again, this morning, omegas, L-carnitine, and where's See you later. During my workout, today I'm doing 
10 grams of glutamine, 10 grams of BCAs, and hydrocharge, which I guess I would say it's more of just a flavor enhancer and it's also for hydration. Pre-workout, today we did a scoop of C4, a scoop of CN3, which is just creatine, and then I also did two scoops of pre-workout called um, Hydraulics Launch. It's actually my uncle's brand, so I mean, I guess I'm not trying to advertise for them, but I like it. And it works well. This combo is like the best for me, so. Look at show everyone this cool prom look. Or massage table. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's awesome. You know how to interview better than I do, so. What's up guys? We are at the Mecca, brand new gym here in Meridian, Idaho, so close to Boise. Yep. And this is the owner, Eric. You too. Meet Eric. Hello. So <laughs> Eric's awesome. He's been helping me with my powerlifting gains too. Powerlifting gains, nutrition gains. Mm, yeah, macro all, scientist. All kinds of good stuff. All kinds. <laughs> so, tell them about the Mecca. Yeah. So this is a new gym uh, that I started uh, with the help of my wife and uh, just set it up. It's uh, pretty well geared towards uh, powerlifting, also bodybuilding and. Um, so that I can do my training and others can do their training uh, more effectively. It's brought it about because, you know, there's nothing like this in uh, the area, in Boise or Meridian or anything like that. So we ordered, you know, nothing but the best of the best, um, from benches to platforms to racks to dumbbells. Um, we got everything heavy. Um, we got some specialty powerlifting bars. Um, so perfect for training for strong guys like Jesse. and and all the rest of us that like to try and uh, keep up with them. <laughs> For most of it, it looks and has a feel of like a commercial gym, but you don't have these stipulations, you know, that all of them do. We got chalk bowls. Uh, we got plenty of platform area. Deadlifting heavy is encouraged. You can slam your weights. Slam noise, the weights. Noise is encouraged. <laughs> Sweet. It's gonna be fun. Well, fun place uh, for friends to hang out and right. train hard. Yeah. We'll also be heavily promoting uh, seminars and things like that with guys like Jesse to come in and speak for us. Um, we and other... Get some conditioning with Candace in there. Yep, get some conditioning going. <laughs> we will Jessica post it. for a long time and just get a bunch of guys to fly out and stay for the weekend. Yeah. Yeah. Then, yeah. Well, this would be more ideal than our garage gym. <laughs> for sure. Just because the amount of equipment you have, yeah. where I only have one rack. We have ten. You have ten Ohio bars. You have four racks, platforms, four platforms. I have an Elico training competition bench squat combo. Too. Sweet. We get that next week, hopefully. So top of the line equipment. Now we're just gonna hit some accessories today. So we're gonna go ahead and try something new. Good day. Try not to laugh at me. Pretty good cardio. Maybe I'll do another minute or two after. But for now, 
gonna do some triceps, cable rows, and probably some uh, pull-ups. So tired, YouTube. Candace ripped her pants. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> too many squats. Too much. Or booty. too tight of pants. Damn, too many booty in the pants. <laughs> oh. I'm sure you guys like that. <laughs> You're welcome. I'm gonna do some shrugs, work some traps. Keep on working that upper back, trying to keep it tight. If you guys saw my last pull, my last meet, started out fine and my back just rounded towards the top. So we gotta work on that. So just work on these upper back exercises, trap exercises, keep everything tight. So last exercise again. Today's a quick day. I'm gonna go see my family today. But uh, here we go. Seven <sighs> uh, one. So obviously the reverse shrugs 
Just trying to hit your traps. But my regular shrugs, I'm also hunching over, trying to really pull into my lats and trap in case you're thinking that looks funny or something. Because normally a shrug's just here. I'm trying to work I'm pulling back as well. So that's why I'm doing what I'm doing. I know yesterday's squats saw stupid comments like, oh, look at that butt wink. I don't know what to tell you, that's how I squat. So, yeah, I'm uh, no scientist or anything, but I, I know what works for me. So, if you guys are concerned with butt wink or the mirror, yeah, I know there's a mirror in the background. I'm not staring at myself or my depth. It's just there. I know not to look at a mirror. Um, butt wink, again, I don't really know. Uh, depth, I know yesterday was just a not a good squat day. So, I know my depth sucked yesterday. My warm ups, they felt good, but then when I got a decent weight on my back, everything just felt super off. And you probably noticed like me moving my feet around. Yeah, just was not feeling it. If you guys don't want to count, I'm doing sets of 12 on pretty much everything today. Besides cable rows, I was doing tens. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, look at that. I don't know why that's there. Don't know how. Uh, so again, I think that's it. I don't have a lot more to talk about today. Um, there's so many positive comments and again I think I've yet to receive a dislike which I'm so grateful for you guys are awesome I don't know what to say I think I like doing these videos better where I'm talking in the video and not doing a voiceover um, so voiceover I can't always explain things the best way I think I'm gonna try to do these videos more often where I'm talking in between sets and explaining some stuff to you uh, I don't know, I haven't looked at all the comments in my videos, and I know there's still a lot of stuff you guys want to see, and I need to explain my squat form and my bench form. Tomorrow I'm doing deads and bench, so I'm probably going to go through that more thoroughly for you guys. Uh, I should have more time to do it. Uh, but yeah, that's the day's workout, and again, I appreciate your guys' support. I appreciate all the comments, uh, the questions, just the support in general. Um, and the biggest thing is just getting better every day. Uh, whether it be technique, whether it be your workouts. And for me, it's gonna be a combination of everything. It's these videos, it's the workouts. I wanna get better content for you guys. Give the workouts a try. I mean, again, it's pretty quick. It's not that difficult, so I feel like most of you guys can do it. Uh, yeah. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Please like the video if you like the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you tomorrow.
think that's pretty funny, huh? 